saw this photo of the gorse bushes on fire, my mind turned to the burning bush where God appeared to Moses. This meeting with God, of course, was something that Moses would never ever forget and would change his life forever. And we all want those sorts of life-changing experiences with God, don't we? But I want you to notice the circumstances in Moses' life in which this meeting took place. Moses got a glimpse of God's glory, not in a palace in Egypt, but in the backside of the wilderness, tending sheep. Now we are usually alert and aware and waiting for the presence of God to show up in a special way when we, are, when we are in some great meeting or when our lips are filled with praise and worship or when life seems to be going well. But God has a tendency to make surprise visits when we least expect it. The Lord visited Paul with a great shining light when Paul was at his most evil and persecuting the church. He showed up uh, with Elijah uh, in a cave when Elijah was in the throes of depression and life was at its lowest. He showed up to the three Hebrew men in the fiery furnace when their situation looked hopeless. Maybe you feel your life at the moment is uneventful, ordinary, as you slog away working hard from day to day. Don't be discouraged. It's in moments like these that God tends to show up and give us glimpses of his glory. Why? Because it's in moments like these that we are humble, that we're not filled with ourselves and our hearts are more prepared to hear from God. Don't knock the wilderness experience. You will most likely learn more about God in the wilderness than in the palace.